Hmm. Okay. I look real dark here, everybody. I have no more light than what I have right now. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we've done this. Welcome back. I hope you are all doing really well. We're going to start off today, um, very beginner, very basic, but so good for your back. So let's start just by sitting on the mat. Welcome back. This is wonderful. We're here for six weeks. We're going to work on different body parts as we move along. And eventually, I think I'll get some more light down here. It seems a little dark, even though this is the same amount, amount of light that I used last time. So it's so good to see everybody. Let's sit down on your mat, sit in any way that you are comfortable. You can cross your legs, you can put them out in front. You can even sit on a chair if that's comfortable for you. We're gonna start getting into the mindset of doing yoga. And if you're sitting on the mat or on the floor or on a carpet and you find that your lower back is a little rounded like this, you might wanna prop a blanket under your hips or sit on a yoga block or two yoga blocks. So let's just start by taking some nice deep breaths. So we're inhaling and as you inhale, your stomach is expanding. As you exhale, we are pulling those belly muscles in. You may even want to relax your wrists on your knees, whether you're sitting on a chair or on the floor. We're gonna start by breathing. Now, as you breathe in, we are fully expanding those lungs and filling them to the top. As you exhale, opening your mouth and making a sound. You wanna to try to exhale a little longer than we're inhaling here. And maybe just a pause at the top. So big inhale, pause, start to feel the muscles in your face and your jaw relax. Start to feel the muscles in your neck and your shoulders relax. Maybe pull the shoulders down a bit. You notice you're clenching your teeth or holding tension in any other part of your body. Just let it go. And let's take one more breath together. Starting to bring awareness back into the body. Let's start to wiggle the fingers, maybe move the head and wiggle the shoulders a little bit here. So let's start by warming up the neck. Because the vertebrae goes down the back, it is all connected and related. Let's relax your shoulders. So you're taking them up to your ears and gently rolling them down your back. And let's take your head now from side to side. So you're bringing your ear down to those relaxed shoulders. Of course, they may not make it all the way down there. It's okay. Remember the breathing. So our, our whole session today, our whole first session, think about those deep breaths. 
The shoulders are relaxed as you move your head side to side. Let's not go too fast. You don't want to get dizzy. And let's take our gaze forward and take the head and look from the left to the right. Shoulders are still down. Just a few more here. Of course, if that feels good and you'd like to keep going, go for it. Now let's warm up the neck a little more. Bring the shoulders all the way back up and just make sure they are down and away from their, your ears and you're creating that space between your shoulders and your ears. And let's tuck the chin. So we're going to tuck the chin into the neck. So we're making a few chins here, but we're all by ourselves at our house, so that's okay. We're going to drop your nose down to your chest, and very slowly, you're going to start to make a circle to the right with your nose. We're making a big, very slow circle. Good, now when we get to the bottom, relax, maybe shake your shoulders out a little. Good, now let's tuck. Uh, again, tuck that chin in to your neck, relax the shoulders, drop your nose down. And we're gonna take that circle to the left now in the opposite direction. Take it just as slow. Notice any areas that are a little more tense. Maybe pause there for a second. Good, when we're back at the bottom, take the shoulders and wiggle them out. And let's start by taking your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We're on all fours in tabletop. Now on tabletop, and we've talked about this before, if you've taken my classes, if not, welcome. We're gonna find a neutral tailbone here. So what I want you to do is take an anterior tilt and a posterior tilt. So all that means is you are arching and rounding your back. And I want you to find that midpoint. So we're gonna find that midpoint. There we're squeezing the belly button to your spine pushing the tops of the feet down into the mat, pressing the palms down. And let's separate the fingers. Now, even your upper back, you want it to be nice and strong. So we're gonna do the same. Let's lift the shoulders and lower the shoulders. So notice that I am not bending my elbows. I'm just working through my upper back, squeezing those shoulder blades together and then opening them up. Find that midpoint. That's where you want to be. This is your perfect tabletop position. Now from there, we're going to do a few cat cows. So cat cow is just rounding and arching your back. So let's take the tailbone down. And we're going to piece each vertebrae all the way to the crown of your head. And back. So we're taking the tailbone up. We're arching. We're taking that inhale and lifting the crown. Now we're going to take the head down first. So let's tuck the chin in, lift through the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, and the lumbar drops down. And now taking it from the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, and the lumbar. Nice big inhale here. Now you can do it either way this time, whatever felt better to you. I'm going to start with the tailbone and go all the way down. And even if the muscles in your erector spinae are not ready for this type of movement and you're not getting much range of motion, the more you work on it, you will. Good. Now let's just shake the body around, maybe shake the hips back and forth. 
Good. Now we're going to drop your belly to your mat. And the hands will be placed right under your shoulders. Again, the tops of your feet are down on the mat. Spread the fingers. We're going to inhale, pressing the hips gently into your mat and lifting your upper body. So we're keeping those hips on the mat and lowering back down. Exhale here. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now let's take and just rest on your mat. We're looking over to one side. Arms are by your side with the palms up. And let's take your head and face the opposite direction. Good, let's release and take the hands under your shoulders and lift back up into your tabletop. Let's work on a little bit of back stability here. So remember, every time if you have to take the anterior, posterior tilt, squeeze the shoulder blades and open the shoulder blades every time you find that tabletop, it's perfectly fine with me. Find that perfect spine. And let's anchor the left hand and right knee to the mat, crawling the right hand out. We're going to lift it out in front, still keeping that perfectly long spine. Your gaze is down at the mat. You're not looking down at your feet or forward. Keep that length and add the opposite leg to the back. So we're flexing that foot. We're pressing it into a wall behind us. Holding this position for another five, four, three, two. Nice. And let's take it back down. And we'll do it on the other side. Crawl the other hand out and reach. Now remember, everything works together. So as you lift this arm, you might lose that nice strong spine. Make sure you still have it and add the opposite leg. We're gonna take it back. So if you have your left arm forward, your right leg is back. If you have your right arm forward, your left leg is back. We're still flexing. And if you want to, you can look back just for a second and see if those toes are facing the floor. That's where you want them to be. You're using your glutes, you're squeezing. Good, let's drop down. Elbows are coming down to the mat and we're rocking your hips side to side. Let's go up into downward dog. So for downward dog, still keeping this long spine, we're gonna dig the balls of the feet into the mat and lift your hips up. Usually this is very upper body oriented here, so. Just take it in pieces. And if this is too much for you, you can do the knees bent and just bring them right back down to the mat. Separate the fingers, lift up. If you can, we're staying in this position and we're gonna pedal those heels to the ground, lifting your hips a little higher. And the goal here is to eventually get your ears by your arms. Good, keep pedaling. Really want to warm up the back of your body, calves, your hamstrings. Good, lift those heels nice and high. Even warm up into the toes. And let's take the feet out as wide as your mat. Remember at any time, if you need to drop your knees, go ahead and do that. But with your feet as wide as your mat, we're going to press the heels down, lifting the hips a little bit higher. 
Rocking again, back and forth. And let's crawl the feet back in to about hip width apart. Now we're gonna bend and straighten your knees. If you need to take them down to your mat. If you haven't been in this position for a while, maybe you've done yoga in between, which is awesome. If not, that's okay too. Let's come down. Now we're gonna settle back in your child's pose. Child's pose is a perfect position to come back to. If anything during class gets to be a little too much, you can take a break and then revisit the movement and join us when you're ready. So in child's pose, you are sitting back on your heels. Your knees are out slightly, your toes touch. So your big toes are touching here. And it doesn't matter to me if you are up here, or back here, but the goal eventually is to get your hips down to your heels, keeping your feet flat on the mat, the tops of your feet. And at first when I did these, I used to get cramps in my feet, but I don't anymore because I got used to that, that position for my feet. They just weren't, ankles weren't flexible. Good, take deep breaths here. You can also help by placing a mat right in between the knees or placing a blanket there. You can also take a block and put it under your forehead. That's child's pose. And let's come back up into our downward dog. Downward dog. Maybe move your body around. Just feel, feel those muscles moving. Take a deep breath and we're gonna take your right foot forward. So when I say forward, it's gonna come right in between your hands if you can get it there. If not, that's okay too. Now the back leg is gonna straighten out. So you do this by crawling the toes back as far as you can. So we're getting through the left hip flexor on, so on the other side. Now this knee, you want it directly in line with your toes on the right foot. And you want your right hip behind the knee. So everything's in a nice line here. And then we're looking forward. You can tent your fingers if you need to. Awesome. Now, if this is too hard of a position for you to hold, you can also drop that knee down to the ground and hold it here. You can also do a little higher and hold it here. That's better for you. Doesn't even necessarily have to be that low. It can be a little higher. So from there, we're gonna take the right foot back into downward dog. If you need a rest, take your knees down and rest. If not, we're taking your left foot forward. Crawl that other foot back. Good, get that nice stretch in there. Tend the fingers, look forward. Check your position. Make sure that knee and that hip are behind that left foot. Wonderful job, straighten that back leg. And let's take the back leg up to meet the left foot. So we're gonna take it all the way up and we're in a forward fold. As we roll up, we're gonna keep the chin nice and close to the body. Pulling up nice and slow. Good, good. At the top, inhale. Reach the arms overhead. And let's take your hands to your heart. How do you feel? Feel amazing. Let's inhale here, rounding the feet into the mat. Hands come down in prayer. We're gonna dive forwards. So we're hinging from your hips. Think about folding yourself in half, half from your hips. And then when you get to the bottom, we're dropping your upper body as close to the lower body as you can. Now, if you have flexion issues in your back, you can use a chair. So if there's a chair in front of you, you could hold on to the chair and just hold it here. You don't necessarily want to round through your back, especially when it's that exaggerated. Now relax your head here, maybe shake it side to side, up and down. Whatever feels good, making sure that the muscles in your neck 
and shoulders are relaxed. She usually feels great for stress. And again, we're hinging from your hips, sort of lifting up. Big inhale here, full the belly, feel the belly with oxygen. And let's take those hands to your heart. Now pressing the palms together, you're gonna press them above your head. Relax the shoulders, trying to get those arms by your ears and take a slight back bend which involves a heavy tailbone. So you don't wanna to arch too much here. That tailbone is nice and heavy, leaning back and then fly forward. Good. Let's do a couple like that, inhale. Hands in prayer, drop down, exhale, forward fold. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Now we're going back into our warrior pose. So for warrior, if you're okay starting lower with your hands on the mat, you can start here and I'll show you what to do. If not, you're gonna start from a higher position and I will show you that regression in one second. So we're keeping your right foot forward, left foot back. The heel is going to drop to the floor and we're going to lift up. Arms are out to the side and we're looking right over that right hand. Stay right here. If you are standing, you can take it from here. Inhale, hands come to prayer. You're going to take that left leg back and plant the heel on the ground, bending the front knee taking the arms out to the side. This is our warrior two. Warrior two is very strong. That back foot, if you had a clock around you, you would want that back foot facing the 10 on that clock. Your front foot is facing forward, that knee and that hip are right in line with that foot. Relax your shoulders, arms are strong here. Pretend someone's pulling you forward with the front hand and back. And pulling those fingertips back through the back. Now we're going to cartwheel forward. If you are down on the mat and bring that left foot up to meet the right, hinge and lift. If you are here and you're coming forward, just bring that foot forward and hands in prayer. Let's try it on the other side. Inhale, forward fold, or just bring that right foot back. Bring the right foot back. Cartwheel the arms around, and we are in our warrior two on the other side. Nice, check your form, deep breaths. This is a strong pose, arms are strong. Someone asked you to hold two candles here, you could flip your palms and hold them. Not very heavy ones, though. All right, so let's cartwheel forward or bring that right foot forward. Nice job. Hinge from your hips. Let's lift up. Inhale, and let's add to our flow. We're folding forward or standing. We're going to bring that left foot back to the same spot. Cartwheel the arms into your warrior two. Strong arms here. We're gonna bring that left hand back to the left leg. Right arm comes up to the ceiling. Your gaze here is up, looking at the sky. Now, if that's not comfortable for your neck, you can look down at your left foot. Either way is fine. Really reach that right arm up. Keep that space between your ears and your shoulders. Good job. And we are going to cartwheel forward or just bring the left foot forward. And now the right foot goes back. Cartwheel the arms. Arms are out. Good. Nice and strong here. And on this side, we're going to do the same we did on the other side. Reverse that warrior. Lean back. Raise that arm up to the sky. 
right up there. Or of course, down at the right foot, either way is right. Yoga is definitely about progression, but not about pain. So if you're feeling pain, back off any pose that makes you feel pain. All right, we're gonna cartwheel the arms, or you can just take that right foot forward. Right foot meets the left. If you are down in your fold, hinge from your hips, lift up, inhale. If you're standing, lift up and inhale. Hands come down to your chest and we're adding to the flow again. So we're inhaling and we're exhaling. Let's fly forward. We're standing and we're bringing the left foot back. Cartwheel the arms into warrior two. Looking over the right hand. Good. Reverse the warrior. We're leaning back. Your gaze is up at the sky or down at the left foot. Let's add triangle in there. So we're straightening the front knee. We're gonna drop the hands, the right hand down to the right leg. So here you wanna pretend there are two panes of glass squeezing you together. Your chest shouldn't be dropping forward. Your knee shouldn't be bending. If you are falling and you feel like you don't have enough balance, bring your feet together a little more. Your hand can be placed anywhere on your leg. If you're more flexible, you can even take it all the way down to your ankle. If you are not, you can place it above your knee and just hold here. That's totally acceptable. Just make sure you're not right on your knee joint. You don't wanna put pressure on your knee. Good, now this is triangle. We're making three separate triangles with our body. Your gaze is up at the ceiling, or again, you're looking down at your right foot. Now from here, let's lift up back into our warrior two by bending the front knee. And we're gonna cartwheel the hands or just bring your left foot to meet the right. And let's bring the right foot back now. Cartwheel the arms back out into that nice strong warrior two. Beautiful job. And let's lean back. Reverse that warrior. Gaze is up or down at the right foot. Keep breathing. And let's take triangle on this side. Arms are coming up. We're straightening the front knee and starting to lower the body down. Wonderful job. You can take that gaze up to the ceiling or look down at the left foot. Good, hold here. And we lift up slowly back into warrior two. Bend the front knee. Beautiful job. So let's bring the right foot forward or cartwheel and frame that left foot. Right foot comes up to meet the left. Hinge from your hips, lift up. Inhale, hands down in prayer. We're gonna take them right to your heart. And again, I want you to reconnect with your breath before we add the last little piece onto our flow today. Let's inhale and exhale. And again, maybe close your eyes. If you feel a little off balance, maybe open one eye and close the other one. And let's inhale, take those arms overhead. Exhale, we're bringing the left foot back. Cartwheel the arms into warrior two. We're gonna go a little faster this time. Lean back, reverse your warrior. Arms come forward, straighten the front leg. We're coming down for triangle. Lifting back up into warrior two. Nice and strong here. Now we're gonna take extended. So here, 
we are, I'm sorry, you can't even see me from there. So my right leg is forward. My right arm is on my right leg. And my arm is overhead. Now, if you've had any shoulder issues, I would rather you place your, your hand on your hip here. This is side angle pose. If you're comfortable here, stay here. If you'd like to extend the side angle, we're taking your hand down to your ankle or in front of your foot and you're just taking that arm straight out so that there's a straight line from the tip of your fingers down to your feet. Press through the heel or coming back up into warrior two, cartwheeling or just moving that left foot forward up to meet the right leg. Let's take the right leg back, cartwheel the arms. Back to warrior two, wonderful job. Reverse the warrior. We all know the flow now. Arms come down, straighten the front knee. We're coming down for a triangle. Fluid movement works a lot better for your body. So we're not jerking around, we're just moving slowly. Lifting up, bending the front knee in warrior two, looking over that left hand. And let's lean into that left leg with the left arm. The palm is up, arm overhead, making that nice long line. You can also extend the side angle. Remember, if this is the shoulder that bothers you, and place it on your hip. If not, leave it up there nice and strong. Notice the line from my fingertips to my feet. Lifting back up to warrior two. Good, now cartwheel the hands or bring that right foot forward. Hinge from your hips. We're lifting all the way up to the top. And hands come down. Wonderful job. Let's go into our balance. So today we're going to work on our balancing chair. Let's warm up a little bit with that. So we're inhaling. As you exhale, we're sitting back like there's a chair behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now the knees are going to be pressing toward your pinky toes. So they are not rotating in as you sit back. This time as we lower, we're gonna keep the arms up in the air, lower down. Settle back into that chair, lift up. Settle back. Now that's gonna keep your knees a lot safer if they're right in line with your toes. And lift up. Down, lift up, down, lift up, good. Relax the arms down. We're gonna take them back slightly, open your chest, palms face out, thumbs are up. Slight back bend, you can lift your head, open up. Now we're gonna close, surrounding so through your back, pressing the hands together, head right between the arms, squeeze, Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, press together. Inhale, open. Exhale, press. Good. Now for our chair, we're gonna lift the heels up in the air. I'll show you regressions, progressions. I always step off of my mat for this because my mat's very thick. Up to you where you want to be. We're going to inhale here. Sit back in your chair. Now, if this is enough for you, just stay here. The balance would be to lift the right heel up first. See how that feels. Spread those toes. And then lift the left heel up. Spread the toes. So most of the weight will be distributed throughout the ball of your foot. But if you need to, a little more weight can be placed right behind the big toe and the second toe over. So as you're lifting the heels up one at a time, if you feel like you can lift them both up and hold, go ahead and do that. 
<laughs> Good job. Keep holding. Now, when you balance, you want to find your dristi. So one point in front of you that you can look at and focus on. So if it's a little speck on the door, if it's a doorknob, a piece of dog food on the floor, <laughs> Really should be looking forward. Keep holding there. Good job. Let's lift up. Drop the heels. Drop the arms. Inhale. How did that go? Let's try it again. You can do it either way. You can stay in your chair. You can lift one heel up at a time or lift them both. So let's try it again. Inhale, maybe it'll be a little better this time. Maybe your legs are tired and it won't. Either way, it's fine. So lift one at a time, try it out, see how it feels. If you have the balance, you feel good. Peel them both off of your mat and squeeze that belly in, that's your center of gravity. Lift those arms up by your ears, relax your shoulders. There's a lot going on in this balance pose. If you can, lower down a little. If not, that's okay too. Good, let's lift up. Drop the heels and inhale. How do you feel? <laughs> Did awesome. Let's get back to the front of our mat. I'm gonna take another inhale here. Lift up, take that nice back bend. Exhale, we're gonna fly forward or fly forward onto your chair. Let's bring both feet back into downward dog where we are going to land for the moment. Pedal the heels, rock the hips. If you need a break, come down to your child's pose. If not, we're going to go for a couple planks and downward dog. So push those heels in, come forward, inhale, come back, exhale, inhale, exhale. Remember, if you need a break, take a break. If you need to drop your knees, every time you come forward, drop your knees. If you need to leave them bent when you're in your downward dog, leave them bent. Either way is fine with me. When you're in your plank, you're thinking about that strong plank, long spine. Good. Let's do two more here. And one more here. Nice job. Knees come down to the mat. We're going to do a few locusts. So let's drop your belly down. Arms will be behind you. We're going to take the palms and rotate them out with your thumbs up. We're going to point the toes. Inhale and lift. So we're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the shoulder blades together. You're looking forward, squeezing. Good, drop down, let's rest. Take a few controlled breaths here. Definitely lighten up that posterior chain. It's all the muscles in the back, in the glutes. And let's set up again. This time I'll give you progression if you'd like to put your hands up over your head and do more like a superman you can try that here just keep your shoulders down and lift up squeeze those glutes hold there now if you'd rather keep the arms back keep them back it's up to you whatever feels good and is moving you forward always want to progress and drop down. Let's face your head in the opposite direction.
I'm going to give you a third option. This time you can do regular locust with your arms behind you, Superman with your arms above your head, or we can try to tuck behind the rib cage. So as you lift, you're going to tuck the elbows behind the rib cage and bring it back over your head. Tuck and forward. Any one of those three is totally fine. And let's do one more. Tuck and forward. Beautiful job. Let's settle back to child's pose. Toes touch, knees come out, and let's settle back. And you can stay or take the legs to the front. Sitting on the six bones. Let's flex the toes back toward you. Sit tall. And remember, if you need that blanket, tuck it under your hips. Inhale here. Exhale. And let's reach forward as far forward as you can. Maybe even start to crawl the hands a little closer to the feet. Nice job. Crawling the hands back as we sit nice and tall. Maybe here, inhaling and taking the hands behind the head. We're lifting the chest a little higher. Shoulders are again are relaxed. Elbows are out. Pressing our hands into our head, our head into our hands, sitting nice and tall. Good. Keep flexing the toes back. And let's release the arms. We're pulling the right knee in toward you. We're going to take a small twist here. We'll take the left arm and wrap it around the right leg. And the hand goes right behind you, right under the tailbone. We're gonna to start to twist from your torso, your upper body, and then your head is last. If that's not enough of a stretch for you, you're still on the same side, you can stay where you are. But we're gonna bring the left leg in first and then bring the right knee in and do the twist from here. Good, now we're releasing the same way. So it's upper and then your chest and untwist from the top to the bottom. Shake it out, let's take it on the other side. So you can take either, either position. You can bend that right knee and pull the left knee into your chest or you can keep that right leg straight out flexing. Take the right arm, wrap it around. And let's slowly take it from the bottom to the top as you twist. Now, if it's too much to hold it, you can also look forward and exhale as you twist gently and look back and then just hold for a couple seconds. Release it and do it again. Eventually, you will be able to hold those stretches a little longer. Let's take your feet out to the front. Take your hips to your heels, hands on the legs, laying back on the mat and rocking, massaging all of those muscles we just worked. Maybe taking your knees in a circle in both directions. Okay. 
And let's place our feet on the mat, crawling them out to the edges. Arms are out with your palms up. So we have that nice goal post position with our arms. Lower back presses in, and we're gonna drop your knees to the right, keeping those feet active or flexing. Maybe adding your gaze to the opposite side, so knees to the right and your gaze to the left. Let's switch. Knees to the left, gaze to the right. Release. And let's pull the knees in one more time. Now we're going to go into happy baby. So we'll release everything in the hips and the lower back. You grab onto your shins, your ankles, the arches of your feet, or you can even wrap two fingers around the big toe. We're going to allow those knees to fall to the side and we're rocking like a baby. Back and forth. Good, this is happy baby pose. Does make your body feel very happy. Good. Pull together, knees come in and the feet are on the mat. Let's straighten the legs out. And just melt into your mat. We're gonna relax the shoulders. And let's start by squeezing the fists. So we're gonna make a fist, hold on to that fist. Let's release and wiggle the fingers. Bend at the elbow, squeezing the muscles in your biceps. So it's like you're showing someone that muscle. Squeeze there. And release. And if you can, next we are rolling the shoulders under your body. So we're opening the chest, Allowing the head to drop back and hold. Let's release. And now the belly. Squeezing the umbilicus into your spinal column. Squeeze tight, hold on to that squeeze. Release, nice job. Squeezing the glutes, nice and tight. Squeeze, keep everything else relaxed. And let's release. And we're gonna squeeze the muscles in your quads, which is the top part of your legs. So we're gonna flex the feet and lift the heels in the air, tighten those legs. Good, release. One last thing here. Let's pull the heels into your hips. We're gonna try to lift those heels off of the ground and press the balls of your feet gently into your mat. We're activating the calf muscles. And let's release. Extend both legs out. Let's take three cleansing breaths together. So we're inhaling, filling the belly to the top and holding for one, two, and exhaling. And again, inhale. Exhale.
Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Let's wiggle the fingers and the toes. And come to a seated position. Hands to heart. Thank you for spending your evening with me mentally and physically. I hope you are relaxed and well. Let's take an inhale together. And as always, namaste. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Next week, we'll work on hips and amongst other things. We'll do some more balance and a little more core work. If there's anything you'd like to see in your yoga class, please let me know. It's so good to be back. Take care, and I will see you all next week at 7. Wonderful job today. See ya. Thank you, Carolyn. Wonderful job today. Bye, everybody. <laughs>